season one of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies just released, and within this update, they've given us access to three new areas within the Dark Aether. And if you've had a tombstone that you've been using on the main map to replenish your money and duplicate items. Well, when you enter the Dark Aether, that tombstone goes away. So you lose everything, all your money and all your stuff. And this is the same issue if you complete Act 1, 2, or 3. You go into the chopper and you go into a new area and exfil and your tombstone will be gone. Well, now there's a method where you can keep your tombstone and you can keep all your money and all your items. You can go into the Dark Aether as many times as you want. You can come back to the main map in your tombstone will be there. So this is so nice to be able to just go into the dark ether as much as you want and then leave and still have everything, all your money and all your items. This method is brand new and it's easier than the first tombstone method that everybody's been doing. This new method doesn't duplicate your money, but it will save that million essence or whatever you saved up and it will always have your items in there duplicating for you. And shout out to B-Man, he found part of this new method and tag 935 and myself went in today to refine this method and make it just a little bit easier for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys the PlayStation 5 version of how to do this. He is going to have the Xbox version on his channel and I'll have that link down in the description. This new method skips a step, but it also adds a step, but it's a lot easier than the original method. So all you have to do to set this up is first fill up your rucksack with the things that you want to duplicate or have in your tombstone when you come back into the map. So just however much essence you want. Typically we've got it built up to a million and then we do like crystals and legendary tools, dog bones and golden armor. Next thing you want to do is again make sure you have that tombstone consumed and then you want to down yourself and completely bleed out like where your body is dead dead. And Tag is doing this first and then I'm gonna do it. So he downed himself with tombstone. He's completely bleeding out where his body is there and then and he's hitting the option that says plea for help. He has to trigger that and let that bar fill all the way up so that the plea for help is actually triggered. And then he can let me know that, yeah, that's done. And now I can revive him. So now he's set and ready to go. And I'll show you guys what you do after that. But now I'm going to do it. So I've got everything in my bag that I want, all these legendaries, and I'm going to get downed. I do have tombstone. And then once I am down, I'm going to hold to give up and just get past that. Now I'm completely downed and I should be spectating the other players. And you'll see the option on the screen to plea for help. I'm on PlayStation, so it's down on the D-pad. You just want to hold that and let that bar fill completely up. Then you can let your teammate know, yeah, you can revive me. It's cool. The bar is done. And I think the other method was you had to have other teammates on other teams revive you. That's not true your own team can revive you. And obviously this is easier to do if you're playing with other people because you are dependent on people to revive you. If you are solo, then you may have to work your magic to get other team members on other teams to revive you. But this is so worth it because now you can do all the story missions and exfil and everything and go into all the Dark Aether tiers and still keep all your stuff. So at this point, you now have a tombstone on the map. You don't see it right now, but when you come back in, it will be there wherever you just downed and then revived. So all you want to do now is go into a story mission. Like you can go into any of the Dark Aether levels. We're going to go into the Dark Dark Aether, the highest tier, and do a contract and go grab some schematics and then exfil and when we come back in our tombstone will be on the main map. There is one last step that you need to do to ensure that your tombstone will be on the main map whenever you leave the dark ether and that is whenever you exfil out of here you need to dashboard. I'll be showing you guys the PlayStation way to dashboard and then Tag has the Xbox version of how to dashboard and again I'll have his link down in the description. So right here we got some really Really great gear that we are going to exfil with and actually keep and then again also have our tombstone when we get back into the game. So there's two ways to exfil whenever you come to the dark ether. If you're coming into the tier one where you have to fight the worm then that exfil is going to be on the beach but tier two and tier three we like to use this underground exfil. I believe there's another one on the map but this is the only one we ever use but once you trigger this exfil you're going to see 
that teleportation and then as soon as you see the successful exfil screen you want to pull your ethernet cable i literally wait to see like right there boom i've pulled it you'll see land cable not connected and then i go ahead and go to the dashboard select the game and then close the game then i plug the ethernet cable back in and then go back into the game and right here you can see all the stuff that i had in game is still with me i got to keep everything and now we're going to go back into the main map and both of our tombstones will still be there. And this is the method you have to use if you're going into a story mission or going into any of the dark ethers that make you leave the main map and exfil. You have to repeat this every single time before you go in. You get tombstone, you get downed, you bleed completely out, you have to plea for help. That's important. Make sure you're fully plead <laughs> and then you can have someone revive you then you're safe to go in. We've got some other really cool tombstone methods coming for you guys, and we're gonna go and work and fully test it out, make sure it's working, and then we'll let you guys know about it. But I hope this helped you guys out, and we'll see you next video.